talk to people. I'm trying to help them with their Valentine's stuff. Sorry. All right, you guys, I've got some makeup looks for you for Valentine's to go over. And I have not one, but two eyeshadow looks for you. So I think you'll be very happy to know that this is one of them. It's a Galentine's look, very cute, if I do say so myself. And then I also did one with these, so more neutrals, more blown out, like, you know, pink, natural, lip, you know, you'll see. You'll love it. All right, let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start off with this base color right here, and we're gonna put it on our lid. This is a Morphe R39, and I've already set my lid, i.e. I just put some foundation on it, really. Okay, just blending out that shade. Again, that is A4. I'm gonna take B5 now, take B5, and I'm gonna take that in the crease. You think you get all your eyebrow hairs plucked and then there is a few. You can just see them. Um, it's B5 again. I'm gonna put that under here. Small brush. This is a Morphe something or another. It came in an eye bag. And the other side, I'm gonna use A4. You're gonna put that in your inner corner and blend that into A5. I'm gonna just cross that out. The two. Mm. <laughs> but I'm not playing with it. I'm sorry, bud. I'm trying to talk to people. I'm trying to help them with their Valentine stuff. Sorry. Okay, now it's time for the fun part. I'm gonna take A5. This is gonna go in the inner corner. And I'm just gonna do this with my finger because I personally think that that is the best way to get it. best pigment. Or you can wet a flat brush, whatever you prefer. We'll take B4. This is this gorgeous pretty shade right here, B4. And, okay. and I'm gonna put that on the center. I'm not gonna put too much into the eyeshadow on the other side. Just a dab to blend it in. Ooh, it's so pretty. And then yeah, we just finished that off with eyeliner. All right, we're gonna finish off this look with a bit of Dior. We're gonna use the chocolate and gold side, a little more of the chocolate. This adds just like that warmth to it. It's not like a stark contour, right? And red lip and sharp eyeliner. Everything's a little more bronzy, softer, pinks. All right, let's go in with the blush and then a little highlighter. So I wanna use this one. It kind of looks like a contour brush. Oh, it's so pretty. Everything in here has a shimmer, which I normally you know, I'm not normally like, oh, shimmer shades for blending and contouring, but this actually really, I mean, it's pretty. It just like blends and melts into the skin. It makes it look somehow more glowy and not chunky at all. Well, the highlight. And so you can see it even in this camera. Woo! She blends. There we go. Okay, I'm putting a little bit above the brow because I love that. <clears throat> I think this would finish off really well with some lashes, obviously. Um, I usually have extensions and most of them have fallen out and I just don't wanna put on lash extensions and like make it worse before I go get my refill. I'm gonna finish this off. This is what I've been wearing already, but this is the Lip Glow Color Review Balm by Dior. Um, really luscious, beautiful color and it's balmy. Like you feel like you're just putting on like a chapstick -y type, you know, but look at the color. Like normally I have to use a lip liner, especially with a balm, but it applies so pretty. I love it. Mm. Super girly, so cute, so fun. I feel like this is a really good look for date night for Valentine's. 
Okay, now we're gonna do something really pop, pink, fun. You can wear this to your girl brunch and they will be like, damn girl, what you doing? And I'm like, oh, more pink. So I'm gonna go in with this one, it's A3. And I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna start actually in the inner corner. Okay. Ugh, that is really pretty. And see, like, honestly, it comes across, I mean, it is purpley, but it, it's a pinky purple color. <laughs> I feel like it comes across as pink. Even with wearing pink, it comes across as pink. I'm just keeping this on the lid. I'm not going above. All right, so I'm gonna take B2, and then I might darken it up with some E4 at some point, but we'll see if I want to do that or not. And this is just a little more of a deeper red shade. Taking it a little bit over the middle, just a bit to blend it out. Okay, so I'm holding this ring light a bit further behind the camera and so you can see uh, the shade just a little bit better. See that gradient? I really like it. It's pretty. Okay, so I was thinking to just see what this looks like on because I feel like we should try it. And I'll put that over this. Oh yeah, that did exactly what I thought it would do. It makes it like blue and like iridescent and gorgeous. Okay, I love... That's so pretty. I also noticed that there's this A1 shade here, but then there's also this um, very, very glittery two shades here. So I thought maybe we'd dip into these as well. So this pink one is E3. I wanna go actually over what we just did. and pull that, yeah, blend that together and then take this shade even a little farther. Oh, pretty. Going in with some purple shades for the bottom is gonna be really pretty. So I wanna use this shade and then blow it out with light purple. I'm gonna use a small, you can tell it's small, right? Small domed brush, E4. All right, we're going into this gorgeous lavender shade C4 using the same brush. Ah, so much pigment. You would definitely want to put on some lashes with this. Okay, so I finished the eyeliner and I put on some mascara. Again, I really think lashes would make this perfect. I just need to take a break, I'm telling you. Okay, so I think what would make this pop is if you are going to use a cooler tone lipstick. I don't wanna use something really red and really warm and make this look like super purple. Plus it's just not gonna to go together. I love this Huda Beauty shade Muse. Ah, this liquid lipstick, I love Huda Beauty's liquid lipsticks. And um, I heard she has some sort of new formula now too and I wanna try it out. Okay, so what do we think of that shade? Again, it's pink, but it's on that purple spectrum. So, oh, I feel great on this. Oh, my sweet little baby. Anyway, so I absolutely love this and think it's super fun. Um, yeah, just a little something different than the same old dark smoky eye, red lip. I feel like you can get that anywhere. So this was fun too. Super cute palette, really pigmented. I mean, I didn't expect anything less from ABH, to be honest. All right, that's the finished look. So I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for joining me on this segment of my Get Ready With Me for Valentine's, the makeup sections. Tag me if you use either one of these looks. I really wanna see it. I'll repost it on my Insta. Thanks, guys. Give it a like and share, comment if you'd like. Thank you. Bye.